what's going on guys this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to send an email without opening gmail application while sending email from your own application normally you can send email from your own application by writing few lines of code which you just intend to send email but the problem with this technique is you have to open gmail application this may be tedious and irritating in some cases like when the user registered to your application and you need to send OTP into that user email automatically by your own application. So to send email directly or internally without opening Gmail application, I am going to show you how to do this. So without uh, any further more explanation, let's do it. Open up your Android Studio, go to File, click on New and then click on New Project. Select Empty Activity click next and then give the name of your project and then select language java i'm going to use java and then cl click finish our gradle build successfully now expand this app directory and then go to resource and then go to layout and then click that activity on main.xml file we are going to design a simple ui here so i'm going to delete this text view and drag and drop some text view this one for email and multi-line text for sending message to that email and one button now select that text view and go to property and change the id to txt email and scroll down and you can delete that text and the idea of this second text view is txt message and this button is btn send and you scroll down and text here goes to send now click this uh, infer constant so that our view will be display is what we have designed here we just complete the basic design of our application now what we need to do is we need to add some extra library in our application so to do this go to this build.gradle not project level gradle but available gradle and you scroll down and here inside uh, this dependencies you need to import some dependency here so implementation com.son.mail android dash mail 1.6.0 and another com dot son dot mail android dash activation Now sync our project, we need to implement uh, these two library in our application in order to send an email internally. So sync your project, Gradle file, our Gradle file sync successfully. Now uh, we are going to send email through internet. So we need to give users permission to use internet by our application. So go to manifest.xml uh, file and here users permission simply internet and that's it now go to java directory and first directory and go to main dot activity and here we need to define some variable so edit text 
underscore txt email underscore txt message and button underscore btn send now import that recently added external library into this java file so import java x dot mail dot message import java x dot mail dot messaging exception messaging exception import java x dot mail dot password authentication import java x dot mail dot session import java x dot mail dot transport import java x dot mail dot internet dot internet address import java x dot mail dot internet dot my message and one more import java dot utility dot property there you go now uh, inside the onCreate method let's initialize our controls so here goes is equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt email find view by id r dot id dot txt message underscore bt and send is equal to find view by id r dot id dot bt and send there you go now let's clear the listening event of this button so underscore bt and send dot set on click listener new view on click listener first of all we need to provide the email address from which we are going to send message to the user so final string username is equal to uh, i am going to use this username final string password is equal to there you go now we need to get the message from the user so a string message to send is equal to txt message dot get text dot to string now property pr post is equal to new properties now we need to provide some authentication uh, ssl and host so property dot port mail dot smtp dot AOTS authentication to true proofs dot port mail dot smtp dot start tls dot enable to true ssl to true proofs dot port mail dot smtp dot host so we are going to uh, send from gmail so smtp dot gmail dot com we are going to send email from our gmail uh, account so props dot put 
मेल डॉट एस एम टी पी डॉट पोर्ट जेनरली फाइव एट सेवन इज यूज टू सेंड एन ईमेल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ सेशन क्लास फ्रॉम हुईर वी आर गोइंग टू ऑथेंटिकेट द यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड ऑफ आर जिमेल एप्लीकेशन सो सेशन सेशन इज इक्वल टू सेशन डॉट get instance and here goes properties and here we are going to create the object so java x dot mail dot authenticator and here protected password authenticator and we are going to return new password authenticator password authentication and your goes username and password there you go now we are going to send an email so try message message is equal to new my message and here goes session message dot set from we need to specify from where we are going to send the message so new internet address and the address is username message dot set recipients we need to specify the recipient to which we are going to send an email so message dot recipient types dot to internet address dot parts and here goes to underscore txt email dot get text dot question let me scroll and message dot set subject sending email without opening gmail apps and message dot set text message to we are going to type the message by ourselves so and transport dot send message and we are going to display the message to the user whether the email is sent to their account or not so toast dot back text get application context mess email sent successfully Toast dot length long dot so there you go. Now we need to cast the exception. So cast message using exception e, and then we are going to throw exception throw new runtime exception. that's it before running this application we need to do one more thing when your application uses the network operation it's better to use the separate thread because when you write an application the whole code is executed by the single thread that is main thread but when you do the network operation the network may be slow or uh, due to some reason your user interface may be lagging somewhat but here we are going to use the main thread and we are going to stick that thread policy so the strict mode is uh, used to cache the accidental disk or network access on the application's main thread keeping disk and network operation of the main thread makes for much more smoother and more responsive application so strict mode dot thread policy policy is equal to new 
स्ट्रिक मोड डॉट थ्रेड पॉलिसी डॉट बिल्डर डॉट प्रमिट ऑल डॉट बिल्ड एंड स्ट्रिक मोड डॉट सेट थ्रेड पॉलिसी एंड हेयर गोज पॉलिसी दैट्स इट now run your application in any emulator you have activity launch successfully so before writing uh, our message and email address uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, enable less secure apps in our uh, gmail account so go to manage your google account and then go to security and you scroll down and enable this less secure app access to on there you go now here enter the email to which you want to send an email so tsn email rcbr@gmail.com and here goes hello tech support name did you receive an email and then click send message uh, is pop up email sent successfully now let's check whether uh, an email is received in that account or not so there you go there is one email and the email says hello tech support if did you receive an email so that's it if you like this technique to send an email without opening gmail application share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such tutorials and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye